I can't tell you how many times when I was growing up, my mom would ask me that question. Well, if all your friends jumped off a cliff, would you go jump off a cliff too? Maybe I'm the only one that's ever heard that, but I'm guessing probably not. Welcome to Leading Leaders Podcast. Five minute videos, five days a week. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. It seems to me though that the concept of you gotta go along to get along flies in the face of the logic, would you jump off a cliff if all your friends jump off a cliff? Because if you go along to get along, then yeah, you would. Well, what that means is that you're going to go along with the crowd. You're going to go along with whatever ideas are out there. You're going to go along with whatever new notions or political or religious statements are the most common. Because you don't want to be, you know, the salmon swimming upstream. You don't want to be caught as the one that's different than everybody else. But what if the ideas that are driving society, the ideas that are driving your co corporate culture, the ideas that are driving the business you're trying to run, what if all of those ideas, the one in the classroom, the one in the, in the schoolhouse or the government house, what if those ideas are headed for a cliff? Would you still go along to get along? Let me just give you one contrasting idea where society's mindset about a particular subject has vacillated so differently. In the 70s into the early 80s, if you were one of those guys who donned a uniform primarily of green and you took up a firearm and you stormed off into the jungles, whether it was the jungles of Vietnam or the jungles of Korea or the jungles of Japan or the jungles of the islands, you were thought to be a bad guy. You were thought to be a baby killer. You were thought to be absolutely horrible people. And society as a whole would spit on veterans when they returned from war. They would come back with limbs missing, with, with mental issues caused by the amount of people they had seen die, friend and enemy. And yet society as a whole shunned them, pushed them away, tried to forget that they existed and forget that they were people. Then we fast forward a couple of decades and you got 9-11. And now it's more of a habit to see a veteran and thank them, to give them a high five or a handshake or a bear hug. You see them in the airport in uniform, slepping their luggage. And you realize the price that they've paid for your freedom. And it makes good sense to thank them, to congratulate them, to welcome them home. But see, those are the same kind of people doing the same kind of job. They're going off to do a job that nobody else wants to do, to, to defend their country, to fight for rights and for freedom. And yet in one era, the hatred, the vitriol was so intense that to go along and get along, you had to hate the veterans. You had to hate the armed services. You had to hate everything they represented. Today, to go along to get along, you've got to honor them and adore them and welcome them and thank them. So is there a right or a wrong when it comes to go along or get along? Now, you might remember if you've watched Leading Leaders podcast for any length of a time, back in the summer, I did an entire series, uh, over 30 videos in the series called Let's Talk About Core Values. And in those core values, we talked about things like work ethic. We talked about things like communication skills and how important it is to make a decision from a core value standpoint on where you are on this topic, on the subject, on these ideas, long before society moves one way or the other. So that when everyone else moves, you know where you stand enough to say, you know, I'm not on board with that. I, I don't go along with that idea. I, I really don't care about the emotional, political sacrifice society is going to ask me to make in order to disagree with them. But I firmly believe like this, and I have my reasons for believing like this, and I've done my homework about believing like this, and I will stand my ground like this. See, the biggest challenge with going along to, getting, to get along is the idea that there are seasons in our socioeconomic and our sociopolitical world, not just in the US, but globally, where these ideas come arise 
that get a lot of traction because there's a lot of money behind them because the phrases are repeated over and over again. And people get on board with a notion, even if they don't know what everything is behind the idea. And they support the idea or the phrase or the slogan, but not necessarily the process or the outcome or the results. But because the slogan is so popular and it's so often repeated, people begin, begin to say it in their common language. And now we've got a societal movement headed toward the cliff because no one stopped to ask, what will the real outcome be? What will the real results be? What will be the consequences if this slogan becomes an action and that action takes place? When you have core values, sure, you can be amicable, you can be permeable to an, to an extent, and you can even get along with people by disagreeing agreeably. But that doesn't mean that you sell out your core values. It doesn't mean that you move along with the herd if the herd is headed for a cliff. It doesn't mean that you abandon the ideals and the core values that you've established in your life so that you can maintain friendships or political power. No, to go along to get along should have a limit to it, just like the idea of following your friends off of a cliff. So today is Veterans Day, and I don't know where you stand on whether we despise or whether you despise the soldiers who've gone off to war to protect rights and freedom, or if you see them as baby killers who have gone off to fight for oil and sand. I don't know where you stand on that, but I can tell you this. America wouldn't be America if it hadn't been for over 200 plus years of soldiers donning a uniform, picking up their weapon, and laying their life on the line to protect what most of us agree on, what most of us believe in, and that is that America is the most free, most abundant, most successful, most opportunist country in the world for anyone in the world to live in, and that's why everyone else is fighting to get here. So if you see a veteran today, thank a veteran today. And I'm not just saying go along to get along, do a little homework and figure out who they are, not individually, but as a class of people, veterans who are willing to fight and die for your right to agree with them or not. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast for Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day.